I went skydiving and planning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Do, 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 Man, it sure feels a little weak, weird on me. It really does. Oh, man, this coffee's like, bam! Really, man, this coffee's awesome. Heck, man, this coffee's better than sex. It really is. <laughs> We're not live here. We're going to go live. Man, bam, bam, good, good coffee. Uh -oh. There we go, Tim McGraw, live like you were dying. I try to do that. I really, really do. Anyways, it's a good morning, Double R Radio, 809 por la mañana, Tuesday morning, April the 17th, 2018. What more can I say, man? Uh, your Tuesday is my Monday, but uh, hey, man, it is what it is. Anyways, it's a great to be back from Corpus Christi, Texas. I was in Corpus Christi for Fiesta de la Florida the past, this past weekend. And before anything else, I definitely want to thank the city of Corpus Christi for putting me up in a beachfront hotel. It was just simply awesome, awesome, awesome. In the words of my friend Rita Alamán, awesome Dawson. It really, really was. And of course, just going out to the event Fiesta de la Flor. Um, a lot of acts that I already knew and had seen before, but I gotta tell you, the act that just simply blew me away Friday night, the Mavericks performed at Fiesta de la Flor, and what a show, what a performance, what a burger. I'm telling you, man, it was just simply awesome. The performance they put out there, woohoo! I found a new love for the Mavericks. I really, no, not the car! The band, the Mavericks. Anyway, just simply an awesome performance. And let me tell you all something. Let me give you all the sad part of what happened out there was that the Tejano band was Palominos performed before the Mavericks. The Mavericks were the closing act Friday night. Well, uh, the Palominos finished up their show and the Mavericks were going to be coming on next. What happens? A lot of people left. It was kind of like a lot of people weren't interested in the Mavericks. I'm not saying there were people out there. There were. There were quite a bit. But I'm going to say half of the crowd that was out there left after Los Palominos were done. I don't know why they did that, man. What their problem was. Also, um, Friday was a very, very windy day in Corpus Christi, man. I'm serious, man. That wind was kicking. It really was. The wind was blowing so hard that my zipper went down. I said, hey, man, <laughs> get back up there. Really, man, the wind was really, really kicking out there in Corpus Christi, Texas. Friday, there were kids flying around in the air, and seagulls couldn't get where they wanted to go, and it was really tough. And let me tell you what makes matters worse. I'm there at the hotel. They got a nice little cabana outside where you can get your drinks and stuff like that. And... Man, there was this female bartender. I went up to her and I said, Hi, can I have sex on the beach? And she slapped me. And I said, Hey, man, I'm talking about the drink. Come on, por favor. Man, my, my cachete still hurts when she slapped me, man. I just wanted to drink sex on the beach. But she took it wrong, man. Cabruna. <laughs> right, Cabruna. Anyway, Tatiwa, let us uh, let me do some good morning shout-outs here. Then we're going to talk a little bit. Good morning shout-out. I'm going to to Sylvia Cervantes Bustos. Good morning. Debbie Brennan. Good morning, Debbie. How are we doing? Debbie, there we go. Uh, dude. Kobe Parsons. Eh? My, my soon-to-be uh, son-in-law. Good morning, Kobe. Come in. Uh, Primo Rogelio Rivas. Good morning, Primo. Robert Palacios Jr. Good morning. También let me see here. El Tocayo, Robert Palacios, right? Ray Gonzalez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Boom, boom. Ida, Ida, Cantu. Good morning. Cecilia Leal Hernandez. Good morning, good morning. Guadalupe Man. Good morning. Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez. Houston, Texas. Good morning. Cynthia Juan Rosas. Buenos dias, Juanita. Janie Galicia. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, like I said, Fiesta de la Flor was simply awesome. I, I mean, I, I enjoyed my trip, my getaway thoroughly, and I mean thoroughly. By the way, um, Sunday morning I took a drive through, um, I decided to take a drive to Aransas Pass and Port Aransas just to see if there was still damage out there from Hurricane Harvey, and I'm going to tell you, there's still damage out there at the coast, 
because of Hurricane Harvey from last summer. And really, man, it's sad. I mean, I'm, I was seeing some of the damage out there. The palm trees, they're all leaning to one side. Some of the palm trees, the leaves are still standing up. There's buildings out there that are still bordered. Uh, they got borders on the windows and stuff like that. They're, they've been nailed down, you know, with wood and stuff like that. I'm telling you, man, damage is still out there in Port Aransas and Aransas Pass. Really, man, I just thought, get this madre out here, man. You know, the, the, the force of Hurricane Harvey and the damage it caused. Good morning, shout out to Jerry. Uh, Weta, I'm going to say good morning, Jerry. How we doing, amigo? There we go. Annette Marie Hernandez Martinez. That's a lot of names, Annette. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, there we go. Uh, Irvie Ornelas. Good morning, good morning. Leroy Basil Maravilla's very own. Good morning, Mr. Leroy. Anyway, sister, uh, who says it? Oh, Cindy says hi, too. There we go. Hi, Cindy. How we doing, Cindy? Get us on, Cindy. Uh, Cindy, um, are you making Leroy breakfast? Um, I said breakfast, Cindy. I said, you know, cuida, man, mi camarada, por favor, I gotta take care of him. Make him two eggs. I'm gonna take baby talk. I let those banquitos con unos papitas, unos frijolitos, unos tortillas. Take care of my buddy. <laughs> right? Baby talk. Order me. I like doing that. I like going through Taco Cabana and doing the old baby talk. They'll go, welcome to Taco Cabana. Can I take your order? And I go, you que un taco banquito? You que un taco fifón? Y, y que un lechita? They go, what the hell? And I go, yeah, you get the vaquito? You get the taco fifoli? Kill the cheetah. Drive up to the front. And then they look at me weird. And I go, I, know, I understand why. <laughs> but baby talk works only with girls, not with guys. Only with girls. Good morning, Chara. Good morning, Mercy Perez Delgado. Esther Gonzalez La Traicion. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see what's going on out here in our crazy, crazy world. Check this out, man. Crazy story. A man broke into a police station and went <laughs> and took a dump on the front counter and then eventually put on a police uniform and walked out. I mean, how bored can you be with your life? How bored? Maybe sitting at home and say, what do I want to do? I know. I want to break into the police station, go boo-boo on their counter, then put on a police uniform and walk out. There you go. So if you see a policeman wearing a uniform and it seems like he has poo poo all over his pants, report him to the police. All right. It's, uh, who does stuff like this? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Javier Sanchez, crazy Jay's in the house. Good morning, buddy. How we doing? Anyways, always Javier. Um, don't you still owe me a bucket of beer, dude? Uh, you know, dude. I think you owe me two buckets of beer, dude. What's your problem? <laughs> right, pobre Javier. Right, crazy Jay Sports Bar. Anyway, check this out. Another crazy story. Footage of a man who robbed a bank, but he put all his money inside his pockets, inside his shirt. Well, he's running away from the bank, and all the money's flying out. So when he got home, he got home with nineteen dollars and forty-five cents. Man, all of that. To go and rob a bank, you got all the money, six, seven thousand dollars in your pants and your pockets. You're running home, right? Because you don't have a car. And by the time it's all said and done, you get home with nineteen dollars and forty nine cents. Kind of crap was that? Anyway, <laughs> he said, Javier, that was me who broke into the police station, right? By the way, my buddy Javier, Mr. Javi is going to be getting married. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't get married, dude. Why do you want to get married for, dude? Why do you want to... Let me put it to you this way, Javier, and I'm going to put it nicely as possible. Javier, and listen up, and listen good. Let me get some coffee first. Amigo, why do you want to buy the car when you can drive it for free? Okay, all the girls going, you better shut up, Robert! You better shut up, Robert! He's in love, Robert! No, Javier, you're not in love. You're not in love, dude. You're feeling the effects of Viagra. That's what you're doing, dude. You're feeling the effects of Viagra, dude. Really, girls will do that. When a girl wants to marry you, they'll slip a Viagra in you once in a while. That way you can think... Man, this woman, she she makes me react like I've never reacted before. <laughs> really, man, women are slick. I mean, women want you to think that, man, I've never reacted before like this. Heck, man, I don't even got to drive home. It drives home. Really, man, so I got a feeling, Javier, that you're under the effects of a Viagra, dude. So if I were you, each and every morning, you know, your girlfriend's making you coffee or a drink or whatever... 
You better check whatever you're drinking, because I got a feeling she's slicking a Mickey in you. That's what she's doing. Good morning, shout out going to Jennifer and Alexander Tremaine, Johnny C, DJ Johnny C in the Casa. You know, Johnny Castillo has been around in the music business a long time, longer than I have, I think. Man, give or take there a little bit. And I'm going to tell you, man, DJ Johnny C is one hell of a DJ, man. He really, really is. If ever you got, you need a gig or whatever the case may be, that's your guy right there, Mr. Johnny C. What is that? <laughs> Johnny C's laughing. Dude, I'm not lying about about Javi, dude. I'm not. He's under the influence of a Viagra. He is, dude. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Javier goes to the restroom and he's the one further back. You say, Javier, man. I think he's taking one Viagra too many. I got a feeling, man, when it's all said and done, when when uh, when Javier passes away, it's gonna be an open casket funeral, dude. I really, really do. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Good morning, Jada. Going up to Mercy Perez Delgado. You know, women, women are going, Robert. Robert, shh, quit telling our secrets, Robert, quit tell, but really, women are slick, y'all think I'm playing, women, they put a Viagra in a guy's drink, that way a guy can think, man, baby, I've never felt like this before, you must be the one, and then about a couple of years later, when the Viagra runs out, they're gonna go, maybe she wasn't the one, <laughs> maybe Robert was right, where is my buddy, anyways, let's keep it going, little sunny by, East LA's very own Tierra, the song is called, Feel So Good To Be Loved So Bad, good morning, Tuesday morning, Double R Radio, there we go, the morning show's going, and we can talk here a little bit, oi, Johnny C, what's going on, dude, long time no see, brother, I gotta go check you out, dude, you're always playing here, you're playing over there, you're playing over there, whatever the case may be, Good, man, I congratulate you. Still keeping busy. That's awesome. I need to stop by and go check you out. Anyways, let's get back to the morning show. Join me, RobertWeaversRadio.com. Let's get back to the morning show.